Hello, um, brothers. It's Umbra, your Umbro, and I've got another beautiful world to show you today. Come with me and we'll take a dive. Huh? Uh, d dive? Okay, let's go. Welcome to Ambient, a flooded world with a lot in store for us. Plenty to do, plenty to see, plenty to figure out. It will be a challenge, so I hope you're ready. Let's fall. Here we are in the uh, spawn lobby area of the map. Uh, and this is where we can make music simply using the metal we see around us and the raindrops. So let's go ahead and do that for a minute. All right. We've got a couple things down as is. A lot of metal to pick from. And a lot of drops. Anything that's got these spirals here, you see, those are drops that'll make sounds. And you can make it happen at different rates depending on where you put it. Let's grab this. And these here you can open up. You can make them go pretty fast. It's not clear at first, but there is a puzzle included in this world. We've just got to play with the water enough to activate it. It's happening! It's happening! So once that lightning bolt's gone off, uh, there's now power for this place. Uh, the only way you can notice is if you go down a level from where we just were, and we'll see that one of the screens has a little yellow button. So when we hit that, this place comes to life. A lot to do now, but we have to deal with something really quickly, so let's deal with it. See this here? This is giving us information that helps us with the puzzle a little bit, and also helps us understand what's gonna happen at what time. Over here you see this counting up. That is uh, the first tick there. That's when the lightning strikes. So we actually don't see it below this point because the screen's not on. But as soon as the lightning strikes and we turn this on, we see it filling up more. If it gets up here, something happens. So we have to go up there and remove all of the um, devices that are making the sounds. I've removed all of the metals, so we've bought ourselves some time before that beaker fills up. Let's take a look at some new toys we unlocked with the uh, lightning bolt that happened there. We now have three different objects we unlocked. There's a bunch of them back in those lockers, so knock yourselves out with these. Let's show you what each of them do. The first two objects interact with the drops, so let's turn this back on. Okay. And we'll put the green one under that. Ah, that's neat. Okay. It's pretty nice, okay. And then this one. Tambourine-like effect. So that helps you with the making of the musics. And our third object, this pipe. You can use it to make music just by hitting the metal. All kinds of music options in here. Enjoy them. With the power on, we also have some panels that turned on over here. And with them, you can change things like the uh, lighting on these screens. And you can change the colors of them as well. See? Very neat. So back at the panel that we used to turn on the power, we have some more information that shows the beaker going up. Um, it also has a very in-depth puzzle here. Let me show you a closer look at it. There you go. Um, basically typing in commands, uh, starting with help to find out what other commands you could do. Um, there's a fan in this world, so that might have something to do with the puzzle. I'm not going to go too far into that. I want to leave some stuff for you guys to figure out, okay? Uh, the third panel that's down here 
Uh, I don't know too much about, honestly, uh, but from what I've gathered, it looks like it changes the water patterns up above, uh, so you can play with different raindrops. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got on this one. If somebody figures it out, let me know. Down here on the bottom, we've got a bucket, and it's got some water in it. We can pour that out. It doesn't show when we pour it out, but it's empty now. And if we put this under the water, we fill it on up. So it's got a, a filling mechanic built into the world for the buckets. All right, it's time to see what happens when that bigger goes uh, all the way up. So we're gonna play with uh, some more sounds back there. Uh, when it's time, you'll know. Oh, here we go. I think it's happening. The beaker's been filled. I wonder what that means. Something's gonna happen. It takes a minute. Oh, oh. Oh no. That's probably not good. Oh no, we're submerged. I see you guys above the water. You guys are uh, just above the water. I'm still under down here. All right. World's completely submerged now, uh, except for the tops of those buildings over there. Uh, this building is completely gone, except for the bit of a water tower and electrical grid. And here's the biggest hint we've got. 4M3613N7. Ambient, but spelt with numbers. Now that the world's in this state, it's, it's done. We can't do anything here. Um, so you have to reset the world by going into the portal. And then you can start the challenge uh, all over again, try and figure out more clues and hints. Uh, I'll tell you, you can make a mirror somehow, but you'll have to figure that out. And uh, you can make this water go back down uh, when it's at the middle stage, not at, not at this stage. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. Again, it's Umbra Scrolls. Follow my Instagram uh, for more worlds like this and more videos coming, uh, ideally daily. That's the goal. So far, we've got four and four, four days, four videos. So more like that. That's what we aim for. Uh, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, and if you're really nice, leave a comment. Those help out. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. You thought I forgot your headpats. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs>